So I'm going to read you some things that I'm finding on some job postings just for, well, for fun and educational purposes. In this particular one, they offer benefits for employees and their wives. This one's looking for a driving Miss Daisy type employee. Another one wants their employees to set up automations using master slave clusters. You can probably hear some of the reasons that I'm raising these and calling attention to them. I'm Nancy Schick of Third Air Conflict Resolution. I'm an employment attorney and mediator based in New York City, where I've had my practice for the past 20 years. And I've been doing this series on ways that employers hinder diversity. And you can probably hear some of them are also stepping into situations where they might get sued. But we're going to talk in this video about how these particular job descriptions might be hindering diversity so that you can also hear how yours might be doing that. Common errors that I see are borrowing a template from someone else. Right. And it may be that you paid for that template. You downloaded it from the Internet, and paid a few bucks for it. But if you haven't verified that that particular template is valid in the state where you intend to apply it, then you may have a discriminatory job description. Second, I see that there's no uh, alignment and strategy when those templates are customized. So you may actually have one that's valid in your state, but if you're not thinking about why you're having a, this job description, what is it that you want to accomplish through this employee, you're probably going to hinder diversity in that way as well. This takes some actual intellectual ability, right? You need to put some focus there and, and do your best or get someone to help you to align your goals and the law and have everything reconciled. And third, this is the big one. This is what I was highlighting at the beginning of the video. It's those implicit or hidden biases that we just aren't aware of, right? They're hidden. So you need to work with someone who can spot them and make sure that you're not excluding people who would otherwise be qualified candidates based on your hidden biases about what an employee should look like, how they should dress, what kind of experience they should have, where they went to school, et cetera. Now, if you're not sure if your job descriptions are legally compliant, I'm going to put a link in the notes to the video to schedule a consultation. And in the meantime, of course, keep listening with your third ear for those hurts you can heal.